Welcome to Sal's Classic Bodybuilding Archives. In today's episode, we're going back to June 1982, Muscle and Fitness Magazine. Samir Banut, training like a lion. Enjoy. I have many firm beliefs about training. I believe in heavy, high-intensity work, proper nutrition, a low-fat, high-carbohydrate diet, keeping a training journal, having a training partner, and working a body part twice a week. The combination of all these ideas makes up the nucleus of my training philosophy. I try to do at least six reps per exercise using the heaviest weights possible. I don't like to count reps. I prefer to go by feeling. Heavy weights work the deep muscle, so to speak, and create density. Of course, there are some exercises that defy heavy weights. For example, upright rowing and front deltoid raises. Such exercises are more effective when you use moderate weights and greater concentration. My basic training philosophy is to work hard and heavy, keeping the workout brief and taking the least amount of rest between sets. When I feel I have reached maximum muscle pump, I discontinue that movement. I prefer to do 12 to 16 sets per body part, four to five different exercises, three sets a piece. When you have warmed up, it takes no more than three sets to get maximum pump. I can get maximum response from my shoulders by working them hard and fast for about 20 minutes. I work the pushing muscles one day, the pulling muscles another day. For example, on Monday, I will work my chest, shoulders, triceps, and calves. Sometimes, especially if I'm training for a contest and the workouts become rather long, I will go to the double split system. Working shoulders and triceps in the morning and chest and calves in the evening. My back, biceps, thigh workout is not as long, so I don't have to split it. I am not inclined to eat a heavy breakfast. Consequently, I tend to tire after an hour and a half of training in the morning. I'll go home and rest, eat something to restore my glycogen, and then return to the gym in the evening ready to train again. I am very aggressive in the gym. You have to declare war on the weights. You have to train hard and concentrate. And you have to be smart. Your allotted time and energy are actually quite limited and you have to make the most of them. You can't waste time. You have to be totally aware of what you're doing. My objective is a maximum pump. I go for it with a vengeance. I pile on the weight and use a spotter when necessary. I want to tear that gym apart. I want to feel that muscle explode with blood. This may sound excessive, but as I said, I am aggressive. You also have to be mentally prepared when you start the workout. If you come to the gym, mentally distracted, a maximum pump becomes diabolically elusive. I recall going to the gym with something bugging me, and although I seemed to try as hard as ever, I simply did not get a good workout. As I get older, I seem to have more control of myself. I am better organized and more patient. One learns to wait and stalk to pounce at the right moment. That's why we're all in the gym, to train. The gym is no place for idle talk. It's a place to train. 
it's really encouraging at World Gym or Gold's Gym to see the others around me training hard. I like the way Robbie Robinson trains. Perhaps he doesn't use the heavy duty system like Mike Menser or even my type of heavy high intensity training, but I like the way he works. Robbie is in his own world. He doesn't look at anybody. He doesn't allow anything to disturb him. He's in there to train and that's it. Me, I'm a bit noisy, joking with my training partner, but that's the way we keep ourselves psyched up. I think the reason I've been successful is because I always train heavy. Today, I am much stronger and bigger because I have continued to train that way. I have also become increasingly aware of what I eat. I am very selective about my food. I would venture to say that bodybuilding is 65% nutrition and 35% training. Some bodybuilders are not deeply concerned with nutrition and somehow they still manage to become successful. Maybe they have great genetics on their side, I don't know, but I have to be careful. I have always counted calories. I am allergic to some foods such as milk and cheeses. They also tend to make me look puffy. However, it really doesn't seem to matter what you eat when you're on a diet as long as your calorie intake is less than your calorie output. Regardless, I still prefer to follow a balanced, nutritious diet. I'm a health food advocate. I make sure my fiber, protein, and calories come from natural, unrefined foods. Depending on the amount of body weight I'm carrying, I may start restricting my calories a month to two months before a contest. I keep my carbohydrate intake fairly high. On the days I train heavy, my total calorie intake will be approximately 2,300 calories. On the other days, I consume about 1,700 calories. I believe a hard-working bodybuilder needs at least 125 to 150 grams of protein a day. 60 grams of protein daily for the average person is adequate, but not for the bodybuilder. During the last 10 days before the contest, I will cut down to about 1,000 calories a day while following a low carbohydrate diet to get rid of the water between the skin and the muscle. During the last two years, let's face it, I have not been able to come in fully ripped for a contest. I think I was trying too hard. In order for me to get ripped, I had to go on a starvation diet. I overdid it. This year, I've changed my approach. Now, I relax more, eat a bit more between contests to let my metabolism kick back up. I have gotten to the point where my body has adjusted to the higher calorie intake and has limited my body weight gain. I am making a valiant effort in the gym this year. I'm not sitting on my butt hearing people say, Samir is smooth, he has the potential to be the greatest, but he's not doing it. I want them to know why I didn't do better this past year. My main goal this year is the Mr. Olympia contest in London. I am going to show up ripped to the bone. It's my turn to win and I intend to win because I've worked for it. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And until the next video, keep training and chasing the dream.